over here at Merritt's, one of my favorite boat yards in Pompano Beach. We always get called out as a subcontractor to come and clean up a lot of their Glendenning issues. Follow us while we correct this shore power cable on this beautiful Viking vessel. What are you doing sleeping? We're back on another project. We're here at Merritt's, one of my favorite shipyards. Beautiful boats, quality, quality boats. But they have a Viking here that needs our attention. All right, we got the shore power cable off. We're dealing with 220, 50 amp service. This boat is equipped with two 50 amp service, one on the port side and one on the server side. And uh, it's pretty tight in here. I'm pretty fine. Yeah, I guess so. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. Yeah, look, he's standing up and I'm in the hole. All right, now I need to go in the hole. Okay. I could fit in there? No, last time you got stuck. I'm inside this little tiny hole. Not everything is always easy. But as you can see, I'm dealing with the Glen Denning shore power cable. There's a 50 amp service that has been neglected for some time. Uh, it works when it could work. But that's why we're here. Clean up and make this thing work like it used to. You made that look easy. Yeah, I know. But we got this defective piece out. Well, the captain did the best that he can. We're gonna CSM this. We're gonna Gucci this thing out. Okay, so we got the drop down this is the old piece. We're gonna completely remanufacture this portion here. Instead of the tube, it's gonna be roller guides. Yeah, we made sure that we had no power on this cord. This is a 50 amp service, 220. If you did touch it live, you get a little tickle. All right, as you can see, we had to modify this thing. So it has a little curve to it, but this is not the final product. Stay tuned. In order to get these things through the roller guide assembly, you either have to take the short power cable completely offline so you can have the end, or you could disassemble each one of these in assembly. I find it easier doing it this way. You look comfortable though. Huh? You look comfortable. Yeah. I'm putting the, I call these my little A-frame or triangle adapters. This will hold the main plate. So. All right, I have to manipulate this slightly a little bit. All right, the way that this thing is angling is more, it's too close to the edge over here. I need to bring this more towards the center and then I'll make support brackets to hold it towards. But in reality, uh, this thing's come over at least maybe an inch, inch or two. So I'm going to manipulate these down tracks to make that happen. Julie, yeah. On the passenger side, on the ram box, all the way forward is my drill index. Okay. Make sure you bring me the drill index. The drillets that I need are shiny. Cobalt steel, not the gold ones. Okay, we modified the down track. There we go. I'm gonna show you how we did this. We were able to correct the mountain taps over here, so we got this taken care of. All right, now we come down, we got our down track, and now look, it's right in the center of the hole. Can't get any better than this. You're getting in the hole next time. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.
75 years later. Alright, so this is the modified down roller guide assembly. He's an animal. That's why he's the goat! The goat! <laughs> Compared to what it was, it just looks amazing. Just. All right, so now I got this whole thing aligned perfectly right in the center of the bucket. Here's our crossbar with our bottom brace. I have a few more screws that I have to put in there. Then we just reinstall the limit switch and reconnect the short power cable. You know how you always check on my work? Mm -hmm. now, now, I'm gonna be checking on yours. Right. Let's see if you can find a problem. Uh, let's see what this old man. All right, Dad, so we're gonna be back tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're gonna be back. Something's wrong with this generation. Stay two on this boat. We're doing the shore power cable on this beautiful Viking. So, I have my trusty companion over there, and hopefully we can get this boat up and running. We're gonna end up testing this cable system now. We're gonna actually bring the cable in and bring the cable out. All right, let's see how she goes in. You need your cutters? Yeah. Okay, here. All right, we're gonna be pulling the cable all the way out now. All right, let's go. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's play a game, where's my dad? Ow, come on. Chop, chop. We're on the starboard side here. And as I said, this side is knotting. And if you look at down there, this is because the cable is not being pulled out 100%. And it's not relaxing. This is also due to age of the cable. So sometimes it creates a memory and all we could do is just try to straighten this out and hope it doesn't happen again. As you can see, we, we had to manipulate the cable in order to get the cable to come out of its knot. So we have a couple more turns, but this is uh, not a single man process. It's a two man process to do this. And you have to take things apart in order to do it. Now, this is not a guarantee, but this will eliminate the knot. And hopefully, if we let the cable sit outside and relax in the hot sun and come back in in you know, one straight run and continuously going back and in and out, this would eliminate the knot. I want it out. Go, bring it out. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Get some help. All right. We're able to manipulate the cable. So now we got the cable manipulated. And if you could see, we got the knot out. All right. So now we got the cable management situated. But now. Brother, ugh. what's that? We got a broken u-bolt so i'm going to use the tie wrap to hold this tube in place this roller so we're going to clean all this up all right now that we corrected the clamp and the alignment and the spacing and the nut the drop tube is in the long is in the wrong location so we're gonna have to, I 
have that bracket made. So now I'm gonna actually push this thing over so that this thing sits closer towards the center of the bucket. So now we're gonna secure that so it has a nice good drop. All right, we're back here. We got the thing situated now. We got our clamp in the right spot. We got our drop tube in the right spot. So let's do another test and verify that everything is working properly. It was perfect, perfect. Everything down to the last minute details. All right, Dad, so we just finished. How do you feel? I feel great. Yeah, we did a great job. Love working in this yard and love working on bikes. You're really good at like fitting into small holes, you know? Well, you pushed my limit today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya.